We have laid first degree murder charges against the second man in relation to the murder of Chad Kowalchuk. On Friday, February 18th, at approximately 5 a.m., emergency responders were called for reports of a house fire in the 100 block of Douglas, Rid Douglas Ridge Green Southeast. After the fire was extinguished, the victim was found deceased inside the home, who was later identified as Chad Kowalchuk. Our investigators have arrested and charged a second man believed to be involved in this homicide. Ronald Leon Abraham of Calgary was arrested on Thursday, April 7th, and charged with first degree murder. Abraham remains in custody and he will next appear in court on Friday, April 22nd. This arrest is in addition to the original arrest of Justin Angus Boucher of Calgary, who has also been charged with first degree murder and arson. Boucher will next appear in court on April 28th. We continue to examine evidence related to the murder of Chad Kowalchuk and believe there are a number of people who attended the residence in the days prior to the fire. This has been an agonizing loss for Chad's family and friends, and we're asking anybody who have information in the days leading up to this fire to please come forward. Thank you, sir. I'll now call upon Dean and Jackie to please share their statement. Thank you. Um, it's been nearly two months since the senseless and tragic murder of my brother, Chad, and our family has several unanswered questions. We ask if anyone has any information with regards to his murder or events leading up to the murder to please come forward, no matter how insignificant they may think it might be. Chad came from a family that loved and adored him very much. He was a fun, loving and caring person and did not deserve this end. And we need justice for Chad. He deserves justice and his family needs closure. This tragedy has been extremely difficult for all of Chad's family and friends. And we again ask for anyone to help bring us some answers and closure and to please come forward. Thank you. Thank you, Dean. We will now open up the Q&A portion. If you have a question, please use the chat function and type your question and I will call upon you to ask Staff Sergeant Gregson your question. Okay, it looks like we may have some questions just coming in directly to me via email here. Staff Sergeant, uh, first question that we have is um, some wondering about a mentioning in the court documents that there is a discrepancy from when it was believed the victim was killed and when the fire had occurred on February 18th. Can you explain a little bit about that timeline? We do believe that there was a separation between the day that uh, Chad was murdered and the start of the fire. Um, we believe that people attended the residence between those dates, and that's why we're asking people to come forward with some information. Um, they may have spoken to Mr. Abraham or Boucher or attended the residence, and there was a separation between those two dates, yes. Thank you. Another question that we've got sent in here, do you anticipate making any more arrests in this case? We're gonna to continue to investigate this and speak with additional um, witnesses, people that may have been there. And as the evidence comes forward, if other people were determined to be involved, um, there will be additional charges. Thank you. Another question that we've got here, uh, wondering about the nature of the relationship uh, between the accused and the victim. Can you share any information on that? We're still to trying to determine what the relationship between the, uh, the victim and the accused were. Um, again, that's hoping that people coming forward can help clarify some of the questions that we have. Does anybody else have any other questions? Okay, we just got a couple more here sent 
uh, to me directly here. Can we share any information about the motive? At this point, um, we're going to wait um, to interview additional people before we speak or um, speculate on what the motive may have been. That'll be information that'll have to come out through the court process. Okay, thank you. We have a question here from CTV. Two people have been arrested now. Why are there still so many unanswered questions about what has happened? Uh, Chris Epp from CTV, is there any follow-up to that question? Sorry, um, ask that question again. Chris Epp from CTV, can you go ahead and ask your question? Oh, I'm not sure if maybe um, Chris may have some technical difficulties here, so I will read it out. Uh, two people have been arrested now. Why are there still so many unanswered questions about what has happened? We're still trying to put all the pieces together. And because there was a bit of a time frame or a, a gap in time frame between when we leave the murder happened and the fire occurred, that's what we're trying to clarify. Hi, sorry, can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Sorry about that. Yeah, I guess I'm just surprised by the fact you you do have two people have been arrested over a period of time. Um, and just seems both you and the family have a lot of questions about all kinds of circumstances surrounding that. Is that just because the victim hadn't had much contact with family in recent time or or what is making this the, this particular case so complicated, I guess? Um, part of the reason it makes it complicated was the fire in itself. So um, we believe that that was probably an attempt to conceal evidence, but we wanna make sure that we've done a thorough investigation and uncovered all avenues. So we're ensuring that we uh, leave no stone unturned. And I believe you were asked that motive's not something you're ready to speak to right now? That's correct. Thank you, Chris. Did you have any other questions? No, thank you. Thank you. Does anybody else have any other questions before we conclude? Just give it a couple more moments. Okay, if nobody else has any other questions, then that will conclude our media availability for this afternoon. Thank you, everybody, for joining us.